Michaela Bernava along with Mike Cole in the Nesson studios and heading into week eight, it is time for power rankings. So Mike, how about them Rams? 24 to six victory over the Cleveland Browns. Are they up or down this week? They're going up. I like what the Rams have done. The, the big thing with the Rams is the inconsistency at times, but I think the addition or the, the emergence of Todd Gurley it really helps this team. I think it's kind of akin to having a good bullpen in baseball, or if you can build an early lead, he can kind of you know keep that lead with how, how effective he's been on the ground. 144 yards over his last three games averaged. Uh, he's averaging six yards a carry as a team that takes care of the ball. Uh, you know Some underrated weapons on offense and one of the fastest defense in football. I think that's a, a recipe for a team that should contend for a playoff spot for the rest of the season. All right, well then the Indianapolis Colts put up no points in the mm -hmm. first half against a Rob Ryan defense against the Saints. Ended up with 21, but still lost 27 to 21 against the Saints. Are they up or down? Uh, they're free falling. They're going way down. Uh, the problem with the Colts, you know, we talked about the turnovers with the, the Rams and how they're doing a good job protecting the ball. Uh, Colts doing a horrible job protecting the ball. 31st in the NFL in turnover margin. Uh, they're also not very disciplined in terms of penalty yardage, six most penalized team in the league. Uh, that's an issue. I think that starts with head coaching. When you come out and get absolutely blown out in the first half, into the second half like they did on Sunday, uh, that's a, that starts at the top. And I think there's some major issues there with the, the structure of that team. All right, Colts, well, don't let that swinging gate hit you on the way out. Mike, thanks. Keep it on Nesson.com for all your NFL news.